With wildfire season underway, planned power shutoffs are likely to return. But one Napa County community is hoping their new microgrid will be a bright spot in the darkness. KPIX 5's Wilson Walker is live in Calistoga with a look at the project. Wilson? Well, Liz, you have to go back a couple disasters now, but think back to the end of last year, that series of power shutdowns across California. One of the great frustrations was that people who were not necessarily in harm's way found themselves in the dark. Well, PG&E is working on a solution for that. Enter the microgrid. We are making the area resilient. We're putting the electrical equipment underground. You see some of the vaults here. It does not look at all like a substation, but this is the foundation of the Calistoga microgrid. Most of the equipment will be underground. The generators will actually sit above those vaults on trailers, sending power through a new set of lines right into downtown. That's the main goal is to keep Main Street powered up and the businesses and the customers who are not in the immediate fire threat um, have them remain energized. I mean, it's, it's great for the downtown section if you live, you know, east of the river, but it is sort of unfortunate for the other, what, two thirds of the population here that, you know, they're not going to have power. Calistoga itself is not a high risk area for fire, but it is surrounded by high risk. Thus, it has landed squarely in the middle of many PG&E power shutoffs. When we have a, a you know, blackout like this, it impacts the seniors so badly. And that is our goal this year, is to reduce the impacts by one-third. One-third fewer customers impacted by PSPS event compared to last year. But that, of course, is just one of the challenges facing PG&E and a system that stretches across California. Well, let's just hope that PG&E is able to figure out with the outages that they're able to do in the countryside so the fire won't start in the first place. I mean, that's a, that's a real iffy thing. All right, so they have one of these completed. They have four more under construction with the goal of getting 10 completed by the end of the year. Now, this one will, will only power about 800 customers in the Calistoga area. It really is just sort of the central part of town. They're hoping they can expand that. But again, back to the size of the PG&E operation, 800 customers at a time, it is a small start. We are live in Calistoga, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.